We are not the generation that feeds on distorted news given to us by the media and government. We are a generation who sees what goes on around us and we speak. As leaders of tomorrow, we fight before tomorrow is taken from us. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope that you are safe and protesting as we all should be doing. And I hope that you are taking care of your mental health. It's kind of weird to start this video on, sorry, it's kind of weird to start a video on my channel about this topic, but like it needs to be said and these things need to be talked about. So if you don't know who Aisha Yusufu is, she's lady, she's a co-convener um, of Think Black Out Girls and she's a human rights activist who has fought for for justice for the people who have been killed and harassed by the SARS guys she's the person who has said um we want an Nigeria where the where the son of, of nobody can become a somebody without knowing anybody so let's get into the video and just for the record this video is directed at the people who actively try to make the country better it's not intended to malign or slander anybody and i won't tolerate anybody saying untimely things this is the 21st century and everybody can think and everybody should know the right thing to do so if you are a nigerian and you live in nigeria you already know what SARS has been doing so i won't really get into that if you're not in Nigeria and listening to this, then do your research, check Twitter, and you'll find stuff there. So, I think that all the protests and cries for justice have finally made us realize the state our country is in. For many years, we've been on a steady decline. And if you grew up like I did, where we would sing on Independence Day, and you know, my mom would cook rice, and we would watch the presidential speech. And my dad would be home and you know we would go to school and make flags and dress in traditional attire attires rather you would understand that it's no longer that way now people are not really bothered about independence day and that has to do with the decline of our country and how people are just trying to live and there's really nothing for them to celebrate this protest, however, has given them, us rather, many, many things to celebrate. We can celebrate our unity and we can celebrate the fact that we can, we can speak up and we can demand this much attention. Who knew that the generation that has been called lazy and people who only like to press their phones can do this and who knew that the people that like to eat in me are now strong enough and brilliant enough and intelligent enough to know that that there are things happening that are wrong and that they need to be stopped. Who knew? And I'm so proud of my generation, you guys. I'm so, so, so proud. I wouldn't want to be born in any other um, generation. And I'm grateful that I can experience this and be a part of this. If you are not protesting, you are listening to me right now. Hmm. Let me not say what I really want to say to you. Because this fight is for you and everybody else in this country. It could be anybody who is harassed by, by the police. It could be anybody. There is no immunity. All except you don't live in Nigeria. Or you never live in Nigeria. There's literally no immunity for you. And we need to be aware of the things happening around us more than ever. And we need to be able to speak up. I like that as a country, or as a, rather as a generation, we've shifted from saying God when we to how and how is this going to get done? What are we going to do? And we've stopped waiting for, for somebody to tell us okay go left and you can take the the initiative we can say that we are holding a peaceful protest and we can provide food donate we can clean we can raise awareness we can pray 
and that's just all a beautiful thing if you are unable to to help people with this um, protest maybe your parents don't let to you or your parents aren't allowing you to protest that's fine it's better if you can donate and if you can raise online awareness it is better to make sure that you have done your best than to just sit and not do anything and if you know anybody that is against this movement and they are saying things that are really upsetting then you shouldn't engage in any kind of conversation on this issue with them because they're only going to demoralize you and they're only going to get you even more and more upset i can't count the amount of people who have tried to, to explain things to and who have reduced it to just us fighting because we've never experienced police violence before and we are we are new to the ways of of nigeria which is a very disgusting and irritating thing to say but we move please try to take care of yourself and be safe you know it's okay to protest but there are people who aren't in support of your protesting and going to unsafe places might get you harmed and killed and we don't want that so take care of yourself physically and make sure that you take care of your mental health this fight can get really draining like yesterday i had to i had to take time off from social media i just rested and i prayed and you know it's important that you soldiers or we soldiers take time off and continue the good fight fight in faith i hope that you guys are doing well and i hope that you're educating your parents oh let's talk about parents it is a thing now that i mean it is no surprise however they want to see you want to say it no surprise that the older generations are not in support of this fight well i think majority of them and you can't really blame them in all honesty because they've tried their own fight and they were beaten down and broken down the it's okay to be angry at them i was angry too for a while but the productive way forward is to educate them and be patient with them okay you know how in our society the older person is always right it's going to be hard for them to accept and to accept that this protest is necessary and see that maybe it's time to have faith again so don't get upset with them okay yeah i hope you guys have a great day and that you guys are safe and you're well taken care of let's also remember to not lose focus we cannot afford that right now ah we cannot do we cannot have put up this much energy into this protest and then we now lose out of the bigger picture and while we are trying to enjoy ourselves while doing this thing yeah let's be let's have the end in mind okay bye i'll see you guys in the next video love you guys